everyone and welcome to my channel. I am Yoshida and this is Norris Cove. Today we're in the Fobonichi. Um, it is right here and or the Happy Nichi and I'm doing this layout today. I wanted to kind of go back to the beginning before I just over recreate it because let's take a look at last week really quickly. This was last week. You all see I did not write in it, but that first day, and I actually was going to come back to it, but I just really didn't have the time that week, but I did like this. Of course, I wanted it a little, you know, a little better, but um, yeah, I did like it. I just couldn't really get in here this week. I didn't like it like 100%, but I'd say out of 185%. So today I want to jump into my Fobonichi. I have my Empowered Woman sticker book, and y'all, I don't know what's going on in my throat. <clears> throat> um, I have, like, sinus drainage a lot, so I think that's what's going on with it. I've been drinking water and whatnot, but that's that. So, I have, so if you hear me keep clearing my throat, that's what's going on. Um, I have Empowered Woman, and I have Boss Babe, and I just wanted to kind of just go in here i saw some flowers i was trying to stay away from the flowers but the flowers in the empowered woman was so so nice um i love this goes for the week which i know i'm gonna stick that over here um and then in the boss babe um let's see what's in here it was something in boss babe that i liked the reason I wanted to use it, I thought it was some, um, they have the to do's and get it done stickers in it, uh, noted and all of that, but, and the smaller boxes. So I thought they had these flowers. I think the flowers from this match the flowers that are in the empowered woman. So, and I want to leave it functional, but yet kind of pretty, if that makes sense. And I know that I have in the florals, I have, it's coming to me. Oh God, it's going to come to me. I have the replacement floral, florals, basically. The florals that go to this and the fun florals book. So I'm just placing this flower there. And I'm whipping out my sticker sheet just to set any excess stickers on. Okay, you guys, so right now I decided to do a voiceover. And I hope you don't mind. So I'm looking for some florals and to add to the spread. I'm also looking for my yellow mile liner and I really couldn't find it. I like to keep my mile liners in this little neoprene uh, pouch. So I decided to go with my Crayola yellow uh, marker. And I'm just doing a little test of the different yellows on a separate piece of paper. And then I decide upon this yellow because it's nice, it's vibrant. Guys, if you don't have these Crayola um, super tip i think it's watermark crayola markers they are a must have they're great the pigmentation is great you can also use them for brush lettering so yeah so i'm basically just um coloring in the background of the spread i'll also come back to this marker to use it as um my date cover um kind of yeah my date covers so now I'm just adding more florals. I really didn't want to put like yellow on yellow, but hey. <laughs> so I'm just basically trimming them up with my tiny scissors. And then I'll later come back and remove that because I realized I can't color in my date with that sticker there. So I'll remove it later and you'll see in a few minutes. 
So yeah, so now I'm just basically taking florals and sporadically placing them on my um, spread and just trying to find a good fit for them. So I'm adding these um, florals with a little bit of red, a little bit of pink in them because I do have the little bit of pink on the side of the page. So again, over here on my other side, I really didn't know what to do with this side of the page. I knew I needed my stack, so I decided just to cover color, excuse me, color in the top part of that page for my stats and add some florals. And then I just cut that out. And the way I cut it, it just happened to fit perfect on the other side of the uh, box. And if I didn't mention my dimensions are 7 by 20 for each box. I think I say it at the end that what the measurements are. And the top, I think I came down three before I started. So, I, again, I'm using this Empowering Women sticker book. This is the only book that I use for this whole entire spread. And I didn't realize it had so much yellow. So, it's so pretty. Um, the yellow was just fluent <laughs> in this book. So, I'm just picking out a lot of yellow accent um, tabs and different things in this book. And, again, taking some of the pink florals as well to complement um, the yellow, I mean, excuse me, the pink that's on the page. So here I'm laying a box, layering a box with that um, box with the flower in it. And I just layered it over top of that yellow stripe one. Here I'm going ahead and making my um, date covers um, with the marker. And then here's where I take the sticker off. I'm like, okay, there's no way around it. So take the sticker off with me. Just take the sticker off. <laughs> and I really like the way that came out. It's so pretty. So I'm basically looking for some more florals and also maybe some boxes to add to each day or different days of the week. I thought that was a flower, but it's like a whole quote. And I should have put that on the other side. I didn't think about it. I may later on go back and add some more quotes to the other side of that page because I felt like it was kind of naked. So now I'm basically looking for boxes to kind of put inside of the days of the week. And I found this really, really pretty yellow box. I love this Empowering Woman sticker book. It is so pretty. And then here I add my positive quote because on Saturday and Sunday, I don't really do a whole lot um, as far as social media goes. Definitely on Sunday, I try to tend to take a break from social media on Sunday as far as like posting and uploading and things like that. I don't know, that's just the way I am. I do try to have one day of like no social media. I'm not a big Facebook fan, but I do cruise through there from time to time. I mainly enjoy my groups on <laughs> Facebook. So right now I'm basically filling in my days of the week. I've been working on my handwriting. Um, I can write in different, you know, handwriting patterns. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. So I'm trying to find one that really fits um, with the social media spread. So I'm enjoying kind of writing in my um, days of the week now. So the top box on the right hand side is for stats. And then... <clears throat> guys so i'm done um i probably wind up speeding through because again i had to concentrate i'm going to debate if i'm going to uh, do a voiceover so if you heard a voiceover with my voice the way that it is i apologize <laughs> but um <clears throat> this is my finished spread i just kind of created as i went along the book that i basically used was the empowering woman sticker book by the happy planner this is what it looks like so if you need to pause, this is what it looks like. And again, it's the Empowering Woman. And I used that total book. I thought I was going to go in Boss Babe, but I didn't. So this is how it turned out. I actually like this. I really, really do. So I just basically went back to the basics of the Fobonichi, Hobonichi kind of style. I was going to do the weather or make it like a mood tracker, but um, I kind of just changed my mind and just created as I went along. So when I'm creating, sometimes I got to kind of create in quiet so I can't talk through it. And I do apologize that I didn't talk through it uh, this time. Let me cut this out. So yeah, I do apologize for that, for not talking all the way 
through most of it at least, but this is it. Cute. I love this, you all. So we're going to see how this goes. Um, I put down an action plan here because um, I'm working on a schedule definitely for my beauty channel and I really need to, that channel has more subscribers than here and that is a channel I really should be uh, putting first basically but I just love doing this I mean not that I don't love my beauty channel but um, I'm gonna work out a schedule for that channel so I can have some uploads I already have my ideas so again this is my social media I hope you guys enjoyed this video enjoyed this spread I hope it gave you some ideas just how to kind of create and it doesn't always have to be stickers it could be pen and marker um, if I didn't mention my boxes are 7 by 20, 7 down and 20 across. And over here, I don't know what it is. I, I don't even think I measured. Um, it might be 7 by, well, I don't know. Yeah, it might be 7 by 20. Same size. Okay. All right, you guys, I'm not going to ramble on, but thank you all so much for stopping by. If this was your first video of mine, welcome to The Cove. Hit that subscribe button. Also, hit that notification bell so that you are notified whenever I upload content to this channel. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.